Folks, let's take a moment and look at the traits of the Russian hybrid queen. Let's go to the first slide. One of the things that you can count on with a Russian queen or a Russian hybrid queen is the markings will not be the same as what you would find with an Italian honeybee. The color will differentiate between a chocolate color to a pitch black color on the abdomen. Let's go to slide two. One of the things that you will find with a Russian hybrid or a Russian queen is that they're more defensive as a honeybee. I would not recommend Russian hybrid queens or colonies to a new beginning beekeeper. These bees are to be handled by an experienced beekeeper with at least two or three years of beekeeping experience. The reason being is if you drop a frame with bees on it, they will come after you and they will try to sting you. So that is the reason why um, new beekeepers, I would say not to uh, go in the direction of the Russian hybrid. Now, with that said, the hybrids are very good at nectar collection. They fly on overcast days versus the Italian honeybees will be held up in, in the hive waiting for clearer days. So when we look at higher nectar collection, that means that that hive is also going to have a higher honey production. Now, when we look at the brood production, that will not begin until there is sufficient pollen coming into the hive. So they're going to be a late starter than what the Italian honeybees would be. But once they get started, they're very explosive. And once they get started on the brood production, you'll begin to see swarm cells. And they keep swarm cells going throughout the nectar periods. So here, here in the southeast, we would be looking everywhere from March all the way through to June with swarm cells. They are very easy to swarm if they run out of room in the hive. Now, let's look at the last slide here. Requeening an Italian hive can be difficult because of the high failure rate due to the pheromones are quite different between the Italian colony and a Russian colony. So a beekeeper does need to be careful on trying to introduce a Russian queen into an Italian colony. Now, with that said, Russian bees are very good in cold climates. And the reason being is, is they are late brood rearing producers going into the fall. And that means they will have larger colonies going into the winter months. So my take on Russian hybrids is that they're great for upper elevations in cold areas, much like in the upper Midwest and in the New England area. So these two areas would be very, very good climates for the Russian hybrid.